So if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that I'm a big Wear OS fan. In fact, I'm wearing the TicWatch Pro 3, and this is my daily driver, and I really like that it's using the fast Qualcomm 4100 CPU chip. But recently, there was a big Wear OS update, and it was supposed to improve the visibility by making the contrast a lot bigger for certain applications, specifically the weather app and the fitness app, where you can track all your strength training activities, running and stuff like that. So I don't like to talk down on Wear OS. I'm a big fan of it, so I hate to make these complaints, but I do feel like I need to put this message out there so that hopefully we can get some change on the Wear OS platform because I think that the Wear OS developers, the, the Google obviously, is really ruining the platform with their new updates. Let me explain why. With the recent update, there have been two major losses for us fans of Wear OS. The first major downgrade is in the strength training activity. And this is an utter shame because this is one of the major things that defined Wear OS and really make it stand out from the crowd of all other types of wearables. It was the only wearable platform that could actually detect what type of movement you're doing in the gym. For example, if you're gonna be doing a chest press or a squat, it could actually detect that. The closest thing that comes close to matching that is obviously Garmin. They do a pretty good job, but there's sometimes a lot of inaccuracies, but they implement their strength training activity in a cool different way. So I do really like that, and I'm really glad that we still have some option out there. But guess what? Google has eliminated this feature. It has downgraded the strength training app, and I think this is a really, really sad result for everyone who was a big Wear OS fan and really use that app. Now, obviously this is very subjective. If you never use the app or you don't go to the gym and, and you know lift weights and stuff like that, this probably isn't a big deal. But for people who use this Wear OS watch for that purpose so they can stay motivated in the gym and kind of track their reps and what kind of sets they're doing, this is a really sad loss for those people, including myself. I'm not a fan of conspiracies, but it's quite odd that after the Fitbit acquisition, suddenly Wear OS, the strength training activity in Google Fit has been downgraded and dumbified. Fortunately, there is one workaround to get the original functionality of the strength training app. You'll just need to simply uninstall it so that you go back to the default version of Wear OS Fitness app. However, there's one major downside to doing that. You'll need to disable auto updates. From then on, every time you want to get an update for other apps, let's say for Google Keep or something like that, you have to go into the Play Store and select all the individual apps that you want to update and purposely avoid the one, the fitness app, because if you did download that one, you would have to re-uninstall it and just do all this setup again. It's just a major inconvenience. And personally for me, there's constantly Google Play services updates, Wear OS updates that I don't want to miss. So I'm constantly painstakingly going into the Google Play Store and checking if there's any updates because trust me, there are a lot of issues with the Wear OS Google Assistant that I'm going to make a whole dedicated video about and I'm just hoping that one of these future updates will address those issues with Wear OS Google Assistant. The second and final thing I want to say is the weather app. They've completely destroyed the weather app. Yes, both the new fitness tracker and the weather app look a lot cooler because it has a higher contrast and whatnot. The colors and illustrations look pretty nice. However, they've eliminated a lot of usability and functionality from both these apps. With the weather app specifically, I cannot see more than 12 hours of my weather. So if I want to see tomorrow or the week or whatever like that, which did exist before, that is no longer available. I am completely shocked that they removed so much functionality from both these apps. And what's worse, if you want to go on the Google Play Store and look for a suitable replacement for both these apps, nothing really exists. I've tried so many different uh, weather apps and all their interfaces are just way too basic. Don't give me a you know three-day outlook of the weather. It's just a very bad user experience overall from those third-party apps, which is actually quite ironic because you would think that given that the developer platform, it's such an open platform, people can you know write code and stuff for it, you would think that there would be a really good third-party weather app, but I have not found any as of yet. If you know of any really good weather apps that work in Canada that display Celsius and maybe the next three days of weather without having to load an app on my smartphone so that it's tethered to the watch and without having to click on a bunch of different screens on my watch just to see the weather that you know basically offers a really good user experience, please let me know in the comments down below. Now I did find an app called Weather 14 Days, and it does show the next five days of the weather. I guess in the end, you could say that I just really miss the stock old version of the weather app that came with Google. AccuWeather is a cool app. It shows you if it's gonna rain the next 120 minutes. However, it's just very simple. It doesn't really show more than just the current temperature. Now the point of this video is not just to complain. I just wanna raise this with the Wear OS community. I want to engage with you and see if you guys feel the same way about this. I'm just overall really shocked that the product managers at Google would kill such great functionality in their old apps. Now this is something that Google has done many times in the past where they've discontinued products that you know didn't really take off and it really does hurt a segment of people that really de depended on it and really liked it. The worst part about Google is if you try to interact with them, they're basically just one big corporation. They don't really respond 
respond to individual customer complaints. They'll just say, oh, why don't you just submit your feedback through this application, which in itself is not a very user-friendly experience. You basically just can't contact a human at Google. Please let me know in the comments down below, what, what do you think? Maybe I'm crazy, maybe missing these two features isn't really a big deal, but for me personally, I'm really sad about this and it has really affected my day-to-day -day usage with my watch. Anyways, that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.